Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 2962. Count sub arrays where max element appears at least k times. Uh, so the way we'll be approaching this problem is by using two pointers. And these two pointers will keep a track of what sub current sub arrays that we're looking at. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is actually find uh, the max element uh, in the sub array. So all of the numbers in that array should at least be equal, like starting with one or greater. So we'll just set our max to be minus one and we'll iterate through all of the elements in, uh, in the nums array and then we call it nums. So if uh, num is greater than max, we just reset that. And max will be equal to num. So this gives us the element max. Um, right after we need to uh, start iterating through the area and I have two pointers. So usually when we have two pointers, uh, we have start and stop. Uh, uh, so left and right, so I just do that left is equal to zero. <clears throat> um, and the number of elements that we've seen so far, we need to get to K. So we'll just call it current K equals to zero because we haven't seen uh, the max element um, at all, as in like, that's like uh, the base case, you just set it to zero. Um, and then you have int right as well. Uh, you can initialize that in the for loop. So let's just do that. Uh, you have four int right. We always start with the starting element as well. And then uh, write less than num start length. Um, and you increment uh, right. Awesome. So the the goal is to make sure that we at least get like one sub array till the number of uh, current k that we've seen matches the expected k. So let's do this. If nums of right, if it is equal to max, then we increment um, current k. Right, and then we need to start checking once we reach a sub array uh, that has a uh, k number of max elements, how many smaller um, sub arrays can we make out of that to, um, uh, to make sure that there are k number of elements. So how do we do that? Uh, so we have, so basically we have the right and left pointer. So you just need to keep moving the left pointer uh, till a point where it's, the condition still holds to. Uh, so while current k is equal to k, uh, yeah, small k, um, you just need to check if nums of left, if it is equal to max, right? You just need to reduce current k by one, and you need to increment uh, the left by one as well. So this loop will quit as soon as the condition hits where current k is less than k, right? So once you hit that, how many sub areas can you form with that? So you're already at right, and how many times you've moved the left element is the number of sub areas that you can actually form with that. And the reason why is because you already have a sub area that um, that makes sense and you keep moving an element by left. So that's another sub array. You move an, another element by left. That's another sub array. So basically for the result, uh, you just need to add after the while loop is done, you need to do a res plus equals start. So that will that is basically adding all of the sub areas that you've seen so far uh, that hold the condition. And in the end, you just need to return press. Awesome. Let's try compiling this. Uh, right. So it's left. Let's try that again. Uh, the first few test cases are okay. Let's try submitting this. Uh, 
right. Okay. So I think in this case, uh, we're just as a overflow. So in the, what we would have to do is set the result to long. I think k can also be long. So you would set the a current k also to be long. So let's try that again. Awesome. That worked. Uh, so let's talk about the space and the time complexity. Um, the time complexity of the entire solution is of n, uh, since we are iterating the, through the entire array here and here. Uh, the space complexity is of 1, uh, since we are um, not using any additional space, we're just using constant space, space for this problem. Awesome. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I really appreciate that. Um, keeps me going to make more videos.